Hello everyone, I'm Jensen Denoyce here for a new and exciting episode of Hero and You. And I'm Maritza Barrows. Hero and You is an educational program that focuses on self-growth and self-empowerment. The purpose of our show is to discuss a topic connected to a comic book issue and see how it relates to our lives so you can find the hero in you. That's right. Today's topic is on staying active. <laughs> Bruce Lee once said, while in training, the student is to be active and dynamic in every way. Staying active is important for your body and to help maintain a healthy lifestyle. Exercising and staying active reduces your chance of developing health conditions or other diseases. Exercise makes your heart happy. It can also make your mood happy. Exercise and physical activity will make your brain release chemicals that make you much happier and more relaxed. So Mirza, what do you do for work workout? Well, you know, I try to stay active as often as possible. Obviously, going to the gym whenever possible. Luckily, I have a fitness center right down there in my home. Oh, nice. So I'm able to stay active in a pretty convenient way. But, you know, it's, it's always has some difficulties of getting here. So if not, I, I just tend to try to do toning exercises. Right. Um, seven minute workouts. There are different apps that help me stay active. And I love to dance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very, very active. Here, the cast and crew of Hero New just recently had a social and stay active at the Life Health Center in Quincy, Massachusetts. Our next social will make sure that we will post it so you can come and get involved so you can find the Hero in you. We had trainer Dwayne Anderson showing special fitness workouts that you can help you stay in shape at your own living room. We have um, CEO and personal trainer Dwayne Anderson. Dwayne, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your gym? Uh, my name is Dwayne Anderson. I own Life Health and Fitness Center in Quincy, Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we have some great participants here with us. And I was wondering, maybe we can focus on the person who, especially in the new year, they want to get active, they want to kind of get, get along with the rest of the crowd and being more active. What are some things at a beginner's level we can start doing at home to, to kind of stay active. We could actually start with Hershey. Yeah, we have, demonstrate I have a, a whole routine things. where you could basically hit your whole body just using a chair. So all you have to do is go a little bit wider with your stance. Easy fix. That's awesome. How does that feel, Hershey? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> what you want to do is make sure the legs are at 90 degrees, so bring that chest a little bit there. Push the weight through your heels, come all the way up, squeeze, tighten your butt, and then yes. come up, squeeze, you should feel this in the back of your legs. Yeah. And this is something that anybody can do right at home. We all have cheers at home, right? <laughs> Very good. Perfect form. That's awesome. Thank you. So now let's let's take it up to the next level. As someone who's been active and maybe not maintaining consistency, but can take it to that next level. Next and, level. Yeah. All right, we'll still do the same things as far as working the legs, which you can do, and this one is good for the core and the glutes. You can do a regular step up. You can step up, you can step up, raise, and then back down. Here, raise up, and back down. Every time you step up, raise this leg, butt tightens up right there. You squeeze, so is this also a move that men can do just as of well? Of course. I All think, right, let's have I think women like to see men with nice butts as well. True, right? very <laughs> true. <laughs> and, when you go up, and also, once you go up, take a second. When people rush through, there's no benefit in that your heart rate will get up and you are using your muscles. But we also want to work on that balance. Right? Yeah. So when you get up, just hold it for half a second. Look back now. Make sure you have your balance. Come up, boom, perfect. Easy breezy. This is something anybody can do right at home while you're even watching that TV. <laughs> Very well. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I mean, what is it really that I know, obviously, as a woman, I know what women like to focus on. What do the men really like to focus on in the gym? Well, men, the glory exercise is always the chest. Yeah. love to hit the chest. Okay. Um, and 
most of the times when people come back to the gym, or well, the first day, Mondays when I'm in here in the gym, all the guys are doing chest on Monday. That's the first day. Yeah. Even, even when you look in fitness magazines and they have a workout routine, it's always chest. Okay. So, I'll show you two quick moves for chest. For men, depending on, you can do your regular push-ups. Here. If you're already in shape, that may be a little bit easy. So, to make it a little bit harder, you can go to an incline push-up, put your feet up on the chair, here, and push. Those? Yeah. All right. Well, let's bring Jensen out here and see if he can test out any of those moves. Well, he looks like a strong guy. You can yeah. do the one with your feet up there, right? Perfect. Keep it tight abs, very good form, right there. That looks good, Jensen. How do you feel? Great. He feels great. That's awesome. That's great. Um, I just want to thank all of you guys for participating in this session. Um, this is staying active, hero in you. And yes, you can find the hero in you. Now that we've learned ways to stay active, now let's see what are the ways that the leaders are helping us stay active. We've conducted an interview with Mayor Bill Carpenter of Brockton, Massachusetts. Through our dynamic discussion, it is clear that Mayor Carpenter wants his city to stay active. When you agree, Maritza? Maritza? Why, yes! Let's hear what the mayor had to say about staying active in his vision for this great city in the Plymouth County. Wait, wait. Well, I think we're trying to make uh, investments in all of the parks and playgrounds. It's been a focus of ours uh, during the first year. I mean, that's everything from the upgrades at the golf course that I want to be a true municipal golf course available to all the residents. Uh, but I think particularly for our seniors and our youngest children are probably where we're putting the most emphasis. The summer playground program uh, this year, this summer, uh, we have the playgrounds open for kids ages 7 to 13. Monday through Friday, half a day during the summer, uh, with they're playing sports, activities, college students as counselors. Uh, so we're keeping those kids really in a safe haven, but also physically active, playing sports, and also serving a healthy lunch at that program. So we're very happy with that. We're even busing the kids over to the Manning Pool two days a week. So the kids at the playgrounds, not only are they playing on the, on the ball fields and getting a healthy lunch, they're getting a chance to go swimming also. Um, and then, you know, in terms of the DW Field Park, I enjoy the park myself. I was just over there for a charity walk a couple weekends ago. You'll see us do more. It, it's hard. We're, we're trying to scrape up the resources. The long-term plan here is to, we're investing in the golf course right now for the golf course to generate a profit every year. And that revenue that comes out of the golf course will then be reinvested into the park and the playgrounds and the ball fields. Because, you know, we're in these tight budgets the city has. You know, you can't lay off police officers to fix up the playgrounds. So we've got to be a little more creative in our thinking. And so we've set this goal of generating revenue, a revenue stream from the municipal golf course that will then support the parks and the playgrounds and help all the Brockton residents get outside, get them out of the house, and uh, be safe, clean, healthy, active playgrounds. The DW Field Park itself, uh, walking, cycling around that park, particularly in the morning hours before the vehicle traffic is allowed in there. Uh, I walked the Big Loop a couple Sundays ago, which is about five miles around. Just a spectacular walk through the, through the woods and around the, the, the ponds. And, you know, before 10 o'clock on weekdays and before noontime on the weekends, there's no vehicles allowed in there. So you can bring your kids in on, you know, young kids on bicycles or if you're bicycling or walking, no vehicle traffic at all. I mean, that's a great way to get out, get fresh air and get exercise. Uh, and then, of course, right now in the summertime, we've got two city pools, one that's free, one that has a very affordable charge. So, I mean, the Cosgrove pool on the east side has been there for years, used by a lot of the young people on the east side particularly. And then the new Manning pool that just reopened a couple years ago, that's like a water park. It's a great family water park experience. We do charge an admission fee, but it's very affordable. It's like $3. And if, boy, if folks have got a hot summer day, you can't beat the Manning pool in the afternoon. It's open to the public in the afternoon. Five, 
Sometimes in our society, people assume and think because someone has a disability, they feel as though they shouldn't have to be active. Well, recently we met Beth of Special Olympics in Massachusetts, who has not only stayed active, but has also taken a leadership role within her community. She has helped people stay active in tremendous ways. Let's see what she had to say. Come on, come on, don't give up, don't give up. I can say soon but when I decided to uh, keep classes here at the gym and I also started taking Zumba at a college and they asked me to run at uh, this class so and we so we went and we and I got certified for a Zumba instructor. It's really, really good to get them going. And I like to, it gives them more confidence, gives them more power. But I really like when they get, you know, more power in them. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this. And I think it's good opportunities for me to do this. The truth is the only reason why we eat is not because the food tastes delicious. We eat food for good nutrition. But are you eating the right food to find the hero in you? Despite her disabilities, Beth decided to do Zumba because it made her feel good about herself. By feeling good about yourself, you can finally find the hero in you. The mayor feels in order for the community to function, everybody feels energetic. There is a need for the residents to be healthy. And when the residents are healthy, they can feel good about themselves so they can find the hero in them. For now, let's hear about eating a well-balanced diet so you can stay active by nutritionist Eva Joseph. When we are talking about um, healthy eating, um, it's extremely important for healthy weight loss as well as maintaining one's weight. Um, and let's not forget the nutrients that you're getting into your body in order for you to maintain a good nutrition. Um, there is a big difference between healthy eating and with processed foods. So let's start off with healthy eating. Healthy eating consists of having a balanced meal. So you're definitely having your um, complex carbohydrates, having your proteins, your milk group, which is the calcium with the cheese, yogurt, um, which will give you the calcium for your bones, um, as well as the fruit group um, with all of the fruits and vitamin C and all of that and vegetable is very important as well as your healthy fats, you know, so we're talking about olive oil, your avocados. So having a, a balance, um, uh, a balanced meal is extremely important. In order to have the energy that you need to work out, either if it's cardiovascular um, exercises or strength training or flexibility, which is the three components of fitness, you need what I say um, you need the gas for your tank to run the car. So in order for you to drive your car effectively, you need gas. So therefore, you need food in your system in order for you to have the energy to do the workout. Well, nutrition is important in what we eat to help the heart, the blood flow in the heart to flow a lot better. Because when we talk about um, cardiovascular disease, you're talking about the blood not flowing um, how it needs to in order to pump the heart effectively. So um, my, you know, uh, example would be, for instance, like if you're eating breakfast, what type of cereal are you eating? Cheerios is always advertised really well as good for heart health. Why? Because it's um, it's the whole grains that's actually going to help with the blood flow, and it it really creates the um, heart health. Another thing, when you're a meat eater, you know, for instance. Um, Take, getting the right types of meat, cuts of meats, lean meat that has less fat. So you want to stay away from foods that have a lot of fat in it because what happens is the, the fat or the adipose, they call it, it gets deposited in the arteries and so therefore the blood cannot flow as easily as it needs to. No matter what, the cardiovascular is extremely good, but you also need the types of food to help with the, um, the blood flow and there will be no blockage. So that's the key at hand.
Nutrition helps you feel good about yourself. Eating a well-balanced diet can help you find the hero in you. Even Bruce Lee has a quote on nutrition that says, avoid empty calories such as biscuit cakes or refined flours. He also talked about dieting, drinking tea, and getting a protein vegetable diet versus a refined flour diet. As a result, Bruce Lee having a balanced diet, he was an expert in martial arts. Well, speaking of martial arts, Jensen conducted an interview with Sensei Len of Brockton, Yuchi Ryu Karate. He discusses the importance of staying active in the realms of martial arts. Let's hear what he had to say. By, by studying martial arts, uh, as everybody knows, uh, well-known facts are that um, when you exercise, you create endorphins. And endorphins are used to combat and eliminate stress. So in martial arts, we exercise a lot. Our forms and our techniques um, help us do that. Well, the more that they learn in martial arts, um, being active and um, um, the better the ability for them to defend themselves, the more confidence they're going to get. With confidence becomes self-esteem. They get um, used to being able to um, hold their head up high and, and you know, by, by um, eliminating the possibility that they're going to get hurt, they understand that, that they are doing well and that will help their self self-esteem. You know, when the weather starts getting bad in the winter, people stay in the house. They're very usually going outside, uh, unusually going outside. Um, I think that if they stay in the martial arts over the course of the winter, again, by, by using martial arts, our movements that we learn, they're functional, technical and functional movements that are constantly varied and done in high intensity. The basis of our style is Ponge Noon. And Ponge Noon means half hard soft. So um, what we do here and the way we teach our students is again to be soft on the inside, hard body, hard on the outside. We have conditioning and training that actually does that. Um, if you are too tense on the inside, then your movements become uh, very contrived. You, they, they're not fast you cannot perform them correctly. So we have the basis in our style that we need to be hard on the outside to deflect you know, hits, but we also need to have that softness. Now what also softness of the heart also goes with compassion. And compassion is a very um, um, well sought after trait for character development in the martial arts. If, and you're doing exercise, physical exercise, um, and you're doing it with high intensity, um, that's dynamic. The, the forms that we do, if you, you can see behind me here, um, some of the movements that they're doing, they, they should be doing at full speed and, and full intensity. That's dynamic. <laughs> that was awesome that workout. Was awesome. Great job. Oh, yeah, Great yeah, job. Yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> this is perfect, right? We, right. We, we actually took the tip from Mayor Carpenter to come out to DW Fields Park oh, here yeah. in Brockton, Massachusetts. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. gorgeous day. We've been on the trails. We've you know gone from push-ups yeah. to lunges to <laughs> jogging. There's so many things you can do here. You do not need a gym. But if you're looking for a gym, you know we, we actually had an interview with Dwayne Anderson from Life Health and Fitness Center in Quincy, Massachusetts. And that was tons of fun. Indeed. He showed us how we can uh, get fit at right. a very affordable cost, working with personal trainers, setting up group sessions. It's always a great thing to have a workout buddy. True, true, true. Keep, keep each other accountable. And he also talked to us a little bit about nutrition, gave us some good workouts to do actually right in the home. Yeah. If it's not going to stay, there's no excuse, right? Right. So uh, we also heard a little bit about nutrition. Right. What's a workout without healthy eating habits? True. Okay. So we, we want to make sure that we're staying well nutrition, that we have a well-balanced diet. We've learned that an 80-20% rule is usually a good, a good rule to follow to keep that balance. If you want to make this a lifestyle change, I think it's one of the most important things to take from the interviews we 
add today. Indeed. Because if you're just choosing a three month plan or a 21 day plan to change your eating habits, what's gonna happen after the 21 days? True. Okay, so there's ways for us to stay active and stay motivated. I mean, take the inspiration from Beth, our our young lady from the Special Olympics in Massachusetts. There's no excuses. No, no, Not no. only did she get active, stay active, she encouraged her community members to do the same. She's an awesome Zoom instructor, has a lot of fun at what she does, and stays active in the process. Right. Now, lastly, we heard. Uh, from Sensei. Yes. Martial Sensei. arts. I mean, I think the martial art form really helps us bring this full circle, right? Because we talk about uh, wellness and mindfulness. We're taking it from the mind, spirit, and the body in the sense that martial artists, you know, they actually use a lot of the brain muscle in regards to a full workout there as well. So, I mean, we've given you so many options here <laughs> today just to help you stay active. And don't beat yourself up too bad if you fall off, you know, the workout train. Yeah. There's always opportunities for you to get back on and feeling as if it's, it's no big deal. Find a friend, get a group together, and stay active. Overall, we've learned the importance of staying active. The final example this television show wants to present is coming from comic book issue number three of Iron Fist, The Living Weapon. Again, Bruce Lee once said, while in training, students have to be active and dynamic in every way. And that couldn't be any truer. In the comic book, Daniel Rand was tragically orphaned as a young child. When his father tried to discover the magical city of Kunlun, it was then when his mother and father were killed. Little Danny was devastated. Thankfully, Danny was rescued and raised by the natives of Kunlun. And his goal from that moment on would be to grow into a powerful warrior so that he could protect the people of the mystical city and never see another life taken again. With the help of his master, Liu Kang, Danny trained and stayed active to achieve his goal. Liu Kang told him, have a hard body and soft heart. If you can protect your heart, you will live forever. Daniel worked out and learned how to defend himself. He gained muscle, got fit, and most importantly, he maintained his body so that it would stay solid and ready for battle. As a result, Daniel was able to stand up to the next villain in a dynamic way. He not only defeated the evil dragon of Shaolu, but he gained the power of the Iron Fist. Danny had let the tragic death of his parents bring him down to a level of bad health and inactivity. He would never stay active and achieve his goal of becoming the Iron Fist. Danny also would have never been able to protect the people that raised him in his parents' absence. Instead, Danny Ram became dynamic just by simply staying active. Whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, not eating healthy and not being active is holding you back from finding the hero in you. It's your responsibility and duty to yourself to stay active and eat healthy because only have one body. Unlike a comic book cat, they can come back. But as you as a real hero, it's important for you to treat your body for the hero it is. Now that's how you find the hero. If you want to share how you're staying active, please follow us on Twitter at Hero and You. Check out our website, www.heroandyou.com. And also like us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com, The Hero and You. I'm Maritza Barros. And I'm Jensen Denoyce here for a new and exciting episode of Hero and You. And yes, you can find the hero in you. See you later. Stay active.